Hey guys, I just wanted to give you a little overview of our spring powered claw for the Fifish V6. Uh, it's fairly configurable, so I just wanted to kind of show you some of its features. So starting out, this is our little mouse trap mechanism, just a little piece of wire, and there are some notches on the top of the claw. You can position that in the notch. When you drive up to something, it'll just close the claw like that. Just makes it a little bit easier in order to get the claw on something. Um, also, the shape of this allows you to drive up to most things and it'll just automatically open, but then it won't reopen. Uh, one thing to note, of course, is that this is a little bit of a basic claw. Once you're attached to something, it is difficult to get it off. If it's something very heavy, I would recommend you try one of our other products in order to retrieve it. Um, just be a little bit aware that if you get hooked onto something, it's too heavy for you to pull up with the tether, um, there's a good chance that you're gonna end up breaking our claw mount, uh, which is better than losing your whole ROV to the bottom of whatever body of water you're in, but um, you would lose your accessories at that point. Uh, in addition to the spring powered mount, right now, the lower jaw is in a static position. I found that often this makes it easier to get the jaws around something on an object, but if that distance is not large enough for whatever you're trying to hook onto, there is a small screw right here in the side. You can just back this out a little ways and this will allow you to open the bottom jaw as well. And it can be a little bit more difficult to get the jaw aligned quite right because it doesn't always sit straight when it comes back, but that allows the full extension of the jaw. Uh, additionally, these screws for the springs, there's holes on each side. So currently when this bottom jaw is locked up, uh, only one of the spring is really interacting with the clamping force. If for whatever reason you found that you did need more force, um, you could certainly take the spring on the other side and back that top screw out halfway, put that screw to there, and then that would double your clamping force on the top. I have actually never found that that's an issue. The clamping force generally isn't needing to be that tight. Um, it just, just needs to hold the jaw shut and then the center little point will act to keep anything inside the jaws once they're closed. But that is an option if you prefer to do that. And that is kind of the basic operation of our spring-loaded claw for the Fifish V6.